Jay Musio, CEO of Group Harmonics, and I'm going to tell you how to survive the pinch of middle management. Are you a middle manager who feels trapped, pressure above you from senior executives, pressure below you from people underneath you in the organization, not sure what to do? This is a common occurrence. Performance expert Bill Daniels taught me a metaphor for an organization that explains both why this happens and what you can do about it. The metaphor is fairly simple. It's just a car. These are four tires, top view of a car that's heading this way. So here at the top of the picture, between the front tires, we have the engine. Now the engine provides drive, provides push to the car. Over here in your organization, we have the C-suite, VPs, and some senior leaders. These people provide drive to the organization by setting strategy. That's the top. Next in the car, we have the drive shaft. This goes down the middle of the car to carry that drive to the part where motion happens. In the organization, in the middle, that's you, the middle manager. You carry that strategy down through the organization by running operations. Finally, in the car, we have the back tires here at the bottom. This is where the rubber meets the road, where real motion happens. In the organization, at the bottom, we have supervisors, individual contributors. These are the people doing the tactics, the actual work. This is where the rubber meets the road, where motion actually happens. Now, what I like about this car metaphor is it addresses the issue of translation. In the car, here between the engine and the drive shaft, you have the transmission. The transmission translates the movement of the engine into the rotation of the drive shaft. At the back of the car, you also have, between the drive shaft and the rear wheels, the rear differential. This translates the motion of the drive shaft into the movement of the tires. Without two translations, the system doesn't move. Similarly, in your organization, you have two translations. We need to translate from strategy to operations and translate again from operations to tactics. Without two translations, the system doesn't move. This is why, as a middle manager, you're stuck in the middle. The pressure from above you, from the senior leaders, is about strategy, getting things done at a strategic level. The pressure up from the bottom is tactical pressure, why things aren't working. It's as if, in the language of the car, you have the engine trying to move the car, you have the wheels stuck, and you're right here in the center, pinched, getting twisted in two different directions. So, what can you do about this? Well, there are two things you should do. The first is you need to become trilingual. You need to speak all the languages of the organization. You need to speak the language of strategy. That's usually a financial language, things like revenue and market share. You need to speak the language of operations, things like program roadmaps and product launches. And you need to speak the language of tactics, things like factory outputs, customer satisfaction scores. You need to speak these languages because whenever you speak to somebody, you need to speak to them in their native language. When you talk to CEOs and senior leaders, talk to them in terms of strategy first. When you talk to supervisors and individual contributors, talk to them first in terms of tactics, always in the native language. The second thing you need to do is you need to become a language teacher. It's actually not enough for you to just speak the languages, you have to teach the languages. So after you speak to that CEO or senior leader or CFO in terms of strategy, you're going to begin to educate that person in your language, teach them the operational consequences of strategic decisions. And after you speak to those lower level people in terms of tactics, you're going to begin to show them the operational consequences of their tactics, why it matters. You might even go all the way up here and show them the strategic consequences of their tactics. You see what you're doing here is you're integrating along the system. If we go back to the car, you're strengthening this system by spreading the load out over the whole drive shaft, top to bottom, instead of having it concentrate on you. That's why it works. Now, I'm not saying if you do these things, you're guaranteed to have an easy life. What I'm saying is if you don't do these two things as a middle manager, you're guaranteed to have a hard life. So if you're a middle manager and you feel trapped in the middle, pressure from above, pressure from below, take the time to learn and teach three languages. The language of strategy, the language of operations, and the language of tactics. It's the only way I know to survive the pinch of middle management.